off at playing Tamagotchi for the Game Boy. But, I mean, back then, this was your virtual pet. There were no online pets or anything, well, that I know of. Nowadays, we have basically, like, Webkins, and I think Facebook even does, like, virtual pet apps. But this was one of the most memorable games from my childhood, and I think I'd like to share it with you. So if you don't mind, it's time for a review. Okay, Tamagotchi. It basically is, in essence, just another one of those um, virtual pet games. But it's pretty fun for the time, and it's also ported onto the Game Boy, which is really cool. And basically what you do is you choose the type of egg you want to have first. Um, Choosing the type of egg doesn't really do a lot. It just gives you, like, a different color. And sometimes, like, I, I haven't found out the pattern yet, but it will give you, like, a different, like, what your, what hatches. Like, they can be different, like the pet. So I'm just going to choose the orange one. Okay, right away you'll notice that your egg can hatch. And I like the music because it looks like something... Terrible just happened. Okay, and if you see that little curly line thing, that basically means he's hungry. So you go into here, and there's five different foods to choose from. Um, if you want your pet to go, like, grow fat and get too fat and unhealthy, then you're gonna want to feed him the cake or the ice cream, and that makes him happy. I like his facial expressions, and he just gobbles down the whole thing. So let's try the sports game. See, sometimes it's going to be a challenge, but... Sometimes it can be easy. Yeah, like sometimes he won't even jump. Or he'll over jump. Which can become really annoying. But if you clear it, he'll be happy. And that's basically what you want to do for your virtual pet, is make him happy. They're great, there's great opportunities to like mess with him. Like right here, if you keep pressing the button, he gives this outrageously funny face. Like, what the heck did you do that for? And if you do anything he doesn't like, like if you try and give him like a shot or something, he'll reject it. Which I think that's, that's pretty good. Cool. I mean, it's like kind of like a real pet. You can praise him, and you can also scold him, and he gets a confused look. He, it's kind of hard taking care of him because you have to stay with him the whole time or he'll just die. I mean, you can save the game and come back, which is very helpful, but I like his Pac-Man animation of eating stuff. See, now he's bored again, so I have to go play another game with him. So I'm going to try the smile game, which is basically a guessing game where you guess which direction, left or right. It's kind of, it's very simple. So right. Now he's angry at me, which I find is hilarious. It's four. Okay, he's got it. Five. No, wrong direction. See, he has a mind of his own, and you can kind of guide him a little bit. See if I can give him food, maybe ice cream. I really shouldn't. I mean, he's just a baby, but I guess a little ice cream should be okay. Yeah, eat it, you spoiled brat. Hope you choke on it. And this is the funniest part in the whole game. He takes a dump all over the floor. And to clean it up, you gotta flush the toilet like that. And he becomes happy. But he doesn't have to go around smelling it. What's this ugly face on the side of the screen? Look how evil he looks and he's got a little hair sticking up. One part about the game you can do 
is send your egg back to your home, its home planet. Now, since I don't really care about you, haha, <laughs> funny joke. Since I don't really care about you, I'm gonna send you back to your home planet. Am I sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. Now, it's a really sad scene. I mean, you're basically sending him back to his home planet saying, I don't want you anymore. Get Go away. The saddest part about this game, which I can't show you, is basically when your egg dies, when your when your Tamagotchi dies. It's really sad. I mean, it's even sadder than this. They turn into basically an angel and fly up to heaven. And it's like, when I was younger and I was playing this game and I had this pet that I had for so long and he died, I actually cried right there. You know? But it's, it's, you can get attached to this game, really. It's really memorable. It can be sad when your pets go, happy when they graduate, but it's a great game in my opinion. So that's Tamagotchi for you. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And I think Tamagotchi was a great game that provided excellent playability and it also provided portability, which is a great aspect to any game. So if you don't mind, I'm going to play some Tamagotchi.